All right, everyone, today we are going to go over one of the bosses here. My favorite boss, I think. Uh, very OP boss, Cywing Mock. Okay, he is top tier. I have him ranked as number two. Only Daniel McKee Jackson better than him. But you could really flip a coin, make an argument. I personally like him more because his special ability here, Death Blossoms, is three grenades that poison is really, really good for the boss battles. Which is how you win the game. You take over the bosses. So he's got the death blossoms, three bombs, a cause poison. Uh, you can, if people are grouped together, that just insta kills three, four. I don't know. You could probably kill five. I don't think I've killed five with one burst of three. But typically, you need uh, two to three of them to kill off all of the enemies. Um, but they they can kill most of them because they do do twenty to thirty approximately per bomb. Um, his Empire bonuses are good. Additional Brothel Guard plus one. Anybody who's got an additional guard automatically, it's that's really good. And Casino Games cost minus 20%. Uh, that means upgrades. So that's not the best in the world. Daniel McKee Jackson has better bonuses. That's why I gave him the little nod. But we're going over Sidewing Mach here. So his Diplomatic bonus, Enemy of My Enemy, is really good. Enemy trades and truces do not reduce faction rating with factions and business arrangements. That is amazing. Amazing. So instead of just going through the whole um, the whole start of the game, you guys can do that on your own. We're going to go ahead and load up where we were the other day. This is basically four hours into the game. I was playing a quick game just trying to take over bosses and, and cause some chaos. So we're going to load up his game real quick. And I'm just going to go over some basics with Sidewing Mock. What makes him so amazing? Um, and this will be really quick. Um, and show you some, some tips in playing the game. So, as you can see, we've already got ourselves assembled a whole bunch of crew. Um, and, and we've taken over a lot of the world already. Uh, Ranking-wise, let's see. Where is it? Uh, Ranking-wise, we're just destroying in this game, which is really easy to do. We got more cash than anybody. We got more alcohol. We got more rackets. Th this is what happens if you play an aggressive game. Um, so uh, instead of doing all the management of the stuff uh, for for you, you notice I, I haven't upgraded anything in this game. This game was purely tack and kill bosses. And so uh, wh what we're gonna do real quickly, just so, show some quick tips. Um, uh, always agree to your the business transactions is my personal uh, feel. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here, he makes a deal with me and then he wants to leave. All right, so the first thing you want to do in any game, even though it's in the middle of the game, the most important thing to do is to go and get yourself some loot boxes. Um, Something. Oh, where it was this person and I ran by him. So you can see a quick battle. And I'll just narrate. So here's Sidewing Mock. This is his special ability. And it is out of control how good this thing is. Let's see. Where are the other guards? Got one here. Okay, there's the two. All right. Looks like that will get just them. So I'm going to drop them both here. And you can see how great the special weapon is. Insta-kill. 30-something 30, 30 each. So it was, it was 30 to 40, I guess, then, for each grenade. Just like that. Boom, it's done. Easy. And it leaves a poison cloud. Which poisons 15 tick per tick. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it lasts. I, ha I, I haven't checked that. But um, so we're going to finish running around here and checking out, uh, checking out the neighborhood. As you can see, I got way too much cash. That's why I've got all these gangsters because I happened upon one of the special loot boxes in this game, uh, which is the. Dillinger's Drop. If you ever run across a loot box, and we're going to do a new neighborhood so we can find some loot boxes real quick for you before we, we end this video, this short video. But um, So Agreed. if you ever find a loot box that's gold, that is basically the best in the world. There's two gold boxes that I've seen so far. There is the uh, Casamino's uh, loot box, which gives you a huge faction boost with the police always good to have the police on your side and this is what i'm talking about you're looking for thugs on the map um we're just accepting all deals so this is what you're looking for on the map you're looking for a thug there looking for thugs here you see them then what you do is you make sure there's a loot box see big gem stash so come on down 
ambush them, take their, take their stuff. Um, it's pretty basic. Um, so just ambush real quick. Really easy. There's only one thug here, so I'm just going to pick him out with one shot. This is what happens. And you see, I got some, I got some rounds. Okay, one of my guys has uh, recovered, so I got even more, more people. And this is what's in the loot box. This one has a police baton and a machine gun. Now, I don't need that because I got really good stuff. So, what I suggest everybody does is you always go into the store and sell sell your green stuff. Sell all the green stuff. Because you're going to, if you're going to look for loot boxes, you're going to find enough. Now, maybe in the beginning of the game, you don't do that until you have enough of everything. But, um, just go in, sell sell all the greens you got more cash than I, I ever would need and um, so that's good um, I'm gonna make sure my gangsters uh, got all the rounds they need and that's the guy who is now free so we have an extra high impact rounds. and I'm just gonna leave him in the safe house for now because this I'm not really playing the game I just want to show you guys so you saw the talent pool um, where we go? I'll make this real quick. Jolly so, good. the game keeps you occupied, but there's a whole bunch of thugs in this alley. They, there's a black book. Okay, so this is the other one with gold. So there's three. I apologize. It looks like there's three. A black book, a casinos, which gives you the uh, the police bonus, and Dillinger's Drop, which gives you 50k. That's why I have so much cash, because the first thing right around the corner from my safe house when I started exploring the world in this game I found was... Dillinger's drop. I got 50k right off the bat. So you see them all grouped up here. I'm going to show you how OP this skill is here. Look at this. I'm just going to drop all three bombs and they're all going to be dead instantly. Just like that. Every one of those thugs. And we got some bear rounds. Beautiful. So this is why uh, he's one of the best. He's one of the best mobsters out. He's one of the best bosses. Black Book. What this does, I'm glad I get to show this to you. This Book of Contacts. I've got 395. On my notoriety already on this one? Yeah, that's good, right? But now I can hire anyone. That black book lets me hire anyone. I'm at 395, so I should only be able to hire up to here. I should not have any of these these gangsters available to hire. And the the higher end gangsters, they are definitely better. So we'll just show you the best gangster in the game, right. which we're gonna hire here to waste all our cash, are R starts with Marksmanship 104, Melee 77, 84 Initiative, 7 Movement, that's just ridiculously amazing. 99 Leadership, so this is this is basically, once you get R, you can just retire. You can just go sit back, and it comes with a purple rifle, a unique purple rifle. Look at that damage on this thing. This is, this is, this is a gangster, and so we're going to hire R. Don't fuck it up. And get our mark. Good. And we'll go back to our safe house. Put Cywin Mock in the safe house. And let's see, where did we start out in this game? Little Italy? No, I think that's the second one we took over. Was it? No, that was Little Italy. Okay, so that's where we started. So, let's see, is that is that right? Yep, that's where the... All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go travel here, go to our safe house, and we're gonna, we're gonna assign the boss there. Good. Because uh, that's something I want to do when you get towards mid game. Once you got enough gangsters like this, you really only need three, maybe four at most, depending on how you play. So, you come here, you right click, and you hit assign. Agreed. And that will, if this is your original safe house. It will ask you, assign sideway mock to the safe house. And this is what you get. Neighborhood passive gain, neighborhood racket draw, that's all of them, plus 10%. Additional safe house guards, plus three. Assign, sweet. He sits down. Excellent. Now he's the boss there, okay? And then go in. Now, I would want to promote R, but R is not made yet. He's still an associate, so he needs to get some... Some kills under his belt before we can uh, before we can promote him. Let's get him. 
another little uh I'll give a bandage. You see, he comes with police issue body armor. So this this is the end, end tier gangsters. This is number one that you need 666 notoriety, unless you get the black book like me in this. So uh, this was just a quick go over. I just wanted to show you how amazing Cywing Mach is as far as his skills go. And um, we're going to go ahead and cut that here just over 10 minutes. I'm going to be doing a bunch of cool, short little videos going over everything. Um, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments section. And uh, you can follow me on uh, YouTube and at twitch.tv slash Damian Geppetto. That is where I live stream. So thank you once again for watching. And everybody have a wonderful day.